everyone and welcome to another episode of Mind Over Matter where I've been having conversations with female founders and women leaders in business and in technology uh, on on how they made out in 2020 uh, how the year worked out for them and what their goals are for the coming year uh, and today I'm delighted to have with us Nisha Jetwa who's based in London in the UK um, and we met again on LinkedIn earlier this year and we've stayed in touch and um, Nisha's story has been incredible and uh, that and I'm really delighted to host her here today to hear um, her story in her own words. So my first um, goal, I mean, when I started the year, uh, I was keen on getting a new position for myself, looking for that next step in my career. Um, I knew that, you know, career development was one of my key priorities and finding that next position which enabled growth and further development was key. Um, one of the other goals for me, which has been a continuous goal for me over the past few years, is really focusing on my health and fitness. This has become really important to me and something that I don't overlook in any way. It's something that I make sure is a priority. Um, so I've been working on, you know, progressing with resistant training, um, running and doing long walks. And that was something that I wanted to focus on as well. But the key other goal for me was also really developing, um, you know, further skills in HR, building my network and really upskilling so that I'm prepared for my next position. So the pandemic was quite a big setback. I mean, when I set myself goals, I'm quite determined to meet those goals by a specific time. Um, I tend to have a plan, not that I'm always fixated on it, but I was quite optimistic that I would, you know, be settled into a position by spring, um, seeing as I was looking from the start of the year. And that's when COVID um, started. So that pandemic obviously had a huge impact with employment, looking for positions, um, you know, having the challenge of meeting people virtually and interviewing which for me was really new and uncomfortable. So that was a huge setback. I mean, you know, whilst now if I look back, everything has happened for a reason at the time, it was a lot of uncertainty, not knowing when I could find that next position for myself. Um, in terms of my personal fitness goals, gyms were closed, which meant, you know, finding a way of doing stuff that would enable me to meet my goals and continue staying fit whilst not being able to go to the gym. Um, but the positive is that it gave me a lot of time to really build my network and meet people online, such as you and other incredible um, leaders that I've met from a global, you know, from all different countries. And that itself was a huge benefit for me, which I probably wouldn't have had the time to do if I had gone straight into a new role early on in spring. Um, so yeah, whilst the negative was that it was a huge setback, which caused me a lot of stress, anxiety, um, day and night worries of, you know, virtual interviews and applications and the competition, especially with the tough job market that we had at the time. The positive was that it really gave me time to upskill, develop new skills and meet incredible people, even through LinkedIn, the way I met you and attend webinars, which really opened my eyes to the HR world and um, you know field networks that I'm in touch with today. Um, I mean, obviously, mental health has been a key challenge for everyone. I'm, naturally, I'm quite a resilient person. I don't tend to overthink, but I just had so much time during this pandemic where I wasn't working. And whilst I tried to stay as busy as I could, of course, there were days where I was just naturally feeling super anxious or worrying about the future and not knowing what was happening next um, so for me although i started the year with you know perspective is everything that's one thought i did have at the back of my head when entering 2020 and it couldn't have been more relevant of course there were times naturally we're all human and the uncertainty can really get the best out of you so they were what really came in the way you know just the thoughts that would come behind constantly interviewing not knowing the feedback mm. what stage would be was a worry for me continuously until I actually found the right opportunity but besides that I mean naturally I didn't feel present because I just felt like there was a lot 
that I had to achieve this year, which was, you know, um, delayed with the pandemic. Mm. But I mean, everything has worked out in its way after. So I have exceeded my own expectations, um, which I'm still taking time to reflect on. And, you know, I've never really celebrated my wins. I'm constantly wanting to achieve, achieve, and never really look back to how far I've come. So in terms of my job, um, I mean, I didn't have any sort of expectation as to what exactly I was looking for. But one thing I was keen to find was an opportunity that would really develop me and my leadership skills, um, as well as give me more depth. Um, to what I have done already um, and I did actually find the next perfect opportunity which is way better than I actually expected um, when looking and I'm thankful for all the rejections throughout the few months because the opportunity that I have now is perfect for my next step. Um, in terms of my fitness goals it's the most I've actually lost in the time that I've been training and for me you know fitness isn't about numbers it's not about losing weight, but it's also about mindfulness and progression. But one thing that I have really reflected on is, you know, how much I have achieved in these six months. It could have gone the other way, but instead I've maintained my discipline and lost over eight kg, which for me is a huge achievement considering gyms have been closed on and off. I didn't exactly have the, all the equipment to be able to maintain the progression that I was working towards. So for me, that's an achievement itself. And, you know, I, I, I feel that I still haven't taken time to acknowledge this. Um, and it's something that I've learned I need to do more of. But, but for me, these are huge achievements because it's such a contrast to how I started the year where I was worried about whether I would get the job that I want and I didn't want to settle. But equally, whether I'd be able to continue with my fitness goal and journey and aim for what I was hoping for by the end of the year. That's fantastic and congratulations. Thank you. So I've always been aware of the fact that willpower and resilience is one of my key strengths naturally, but I think all of us have been challenged in our own unique ways with this pandemic, where I've actually learned that I'm stronger than I know. And I've also learned that I need to really believe in myself and not limit myself because I think it's our own limit um, beliefs that sometimes stop us from achieving what we really want to achieve. The other thing I've learned is, you know, really prioritizing myself and focusing on my goals because if there's one person that should be accountable, it's me for anything, regardless of the obstacles that come in the way, I'm responsible for myself, which I've always been aware of, but I think I've put more into action this year with the pandemic. Mm. Well, firstly, my friends and family. I mean, I, no doubt I've had my bad days throughout the few months where I was looking for my job or, you know, when I was just feeling really uncertain about the future and they have been my cheerleaders. They have been the ones that have reminded me of, you know, being able to achieve what I want. So I'm grateful for friends and family that are always there, regardless of the circumstances. I can just, you know, have a quick call and have a reset and feel better about myself. Um, and then of course, I'm grateful for this opportunity that I've had. Um, I mean, when you've had so many interviews virtually, you really do find what stands out. Likewise, it is for employers when they're looking for their candidates. and. I am grateful for an amazing team that I'm part of now at my new company and as well as the opportunity because, you know, they've recognized who I am as a person and what I can bring. And for me, that's a lot, especially when we are in this tough time of, you know, being judged virtually through a virtual mm -hmm. interview. So for me, that's a huge, big deal um, that I'm really grateful for. Um, one of them is, of course, you know, doing well in my role. It is a new role for me. It's um, something that will have a lot of changes. There's a lot of new things that I'll learn in this position. So I really want to ensure that I do my best in everything I do in this position. The other goal, I hope to continue um, further developing my skills. One thing that I do have at the back of my mind is doing a CIPD, which I was thinking about even this year during the pandemic, but I've had to really focus on what I really wanted to prioritize. 
Um, so that's another goal I hope that I will be able to get going on. And I guess the other goal for me is more around just continuing with my health and my well-being. I think one thing that I will start is so the, one thing that I will definitely start is really putting myself first. Um, I, I've reflected a lot this year and I think just naturally my characteristics are to really always think about how I perceive things on the other end and sometimes forget about my own wants and needs. So definitely one thing that I will start doing in 2021 is focusing on me um, and you know prioritizing self-care. One thing that I will stop is um, to stop being hard on myself. Like, as I mentioned earlier on, I can be sometimes quite hard on myself. If I want to achieve something, then I'll constantly push myself to achieve that. And I think we all need to be a bit more flexible and open-minded about things with the pandemic, which is not going anytime soon. So one thing I'll definitely stop is to not be so hard on myself and, um, you know really celebrate the small wins rather than focusing on that end goal all the time mm. one thing that i will continue is um although i mentioned this earlier it's more around self-care so continuing with my health journey i i feel like i've progressed a lot in that and i don't want to stop that it's something that i will continue prioritizing and even more difficult when you're working um so ensuring that i'm motivated and making that time for myself to really get out and continue with my fitness journey. So my personal definition of grit is to really have the stamina. Um, life will always throw obstacles at you and it's up to you how you define it. So I think grit for me is being really passionate and really understanding what you want to achieve, but equally visualizing that and to keep going regardless of the adversity that you face. Um, and even if that means getting just one step closer to your goal rather than meeting your goal, but to continue to persevere and just not stop. Because I think there, there will always be a reason as to why you can't do something, but it's how you build your daily habits. So yeah, in short, grip for me is being passionate, not stopping and you know, persevering even through the adversity. So number one, um, self-talk. I think that is really, really important because it's really believing in yourself that will help you. So regardless of what you're going through, having those self-talks and, you know, always changing your perspective on things will really help you achieve what you want to achieve and will give you a new outlook to whatever it is you're going through. The second tip would be um, self-care. So, you know, really taking care of yourself and doing what makes you happy and not being hard on yourself. So, you know, focusing on what you can really focus on and control rather than trying to achieve things that are no longer in your control. And the third tip would be visualization. So, Having that vision of what it is that you want to achieve, but then equally having an open mind to things so that you have that in your mind whilst you're going through your journey, but at the same time, you're not letting yourself down. You're learning through the process rather than being negative about what you're experiencing. So, you know, I think as we continue, we're going to have a lot of challenging times and it's it's about looking at the positive in every challenge that you go through rather than the negative. Mm. Great. Thank you so much, Nisha. And once again, congratulations on all that you've accomplished in, in 2020 and uh, wish you uh, continued success um, and uh, lots of uh, peace and well-being. Thank you again. Thank you so much, Minachi.